do in the name of the Almighty God swear. The NDC in August made appointments to assist the party leadership steer affairs ahead of the 2024 elections. The national chairman, Johnson Esiedun Ketia, charged the appointees to arise and speak out the ills in society in order to protect the country's democracy. The happenings in the sub-region ought to be a wake-up call for all of us. Patriots must arise, act and speak with courage and say the unpleasant things that ought to be said, said. Take the unpleasant actions that ought to be taken so that we can prevent worse things from happening. He claimed that the security services have been highly politicized, but added that as an opposition party, they are ready to protect the constitution. We have never come this low where corruption in government has become like an American buffet. Eat all you can for $10. So once you pay the gate fee, which is an appointment from the Nagufado's government, you enter there and eat everything you can. In fact, Parliament has not had the opportunity to investigate anything or any leak tape from the armed forces. But I believe sincerely that if there were any leak tape to be investigated from there, the stories that will, 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 will emerge will be equally worrying. He says the youth, majority of whom he says are jobless, are being restricted from registering to vote and charged civil society and other organizations to put pressure on government to ensure the youth are not disenfranchised. This is the opportunity for them to register and participate in the voting. And once again, the machinations that are happening, they are all geared towards limiting access to the exercise of that democratic right. In a democracy, we choose our leaders. The right of self-determination is one of the most important rights in a democracy. The youth, if they are blocked, from registering so that they can change government peacefully. We cannot predict what they will want to do.